across in, in a large number of organizations. There's always a bit of a fear um, when we offer this out, especially from an executive perspective, that um, the expression is usually used, the floodgates will open up and we won't really see people in the office way. I think there's a really big part in that that misses the human, as you said, connection need. And what we've experienced, even when we haven't necessarily um, deliberately gone out there to sort of say, you must come in this many times and all that type of stuff, people just do. Um, we are social animals, you know, we, we need that connection with other human beings. And I think for those people who work um, remotely a lot, they find it lonely. Um, and the majority of the people that we've sort of said that they've had to work remotely most of the time, they really didn't enjoy that necessarily. So I think um, it doesn't happen as often if you just leave it alone. But a big part of our interventions is really uh, looking with people and setting some um, some, some infrastructure about how managers and leaders have that conversation. We definitely talk about being very deliberate. So if you now you know, open it up, people, it's more about the fact that people are going to work at different times from home, let's say, if it's working from home, and then the team doesn't have together time. Um, we talk about being deliberate, about certain things being a little bit sacred in that team, and saying we're going to have breakfast you know, once a month. And we will not talk about work, by the way, we're just going to talk about how everyone is. And really being very conscious and mindful about how you create that space for connection across. So absolutely very critical.